So one way to confirm this would be to just plot these curves with with this, but uh, these, these values to measure the angles, and that's what we'll do: is measure these angles and see whether or not that you obey this nonlinear equation here now because it's got sine of theta in here. But what we can do, let me move this up a little, linearization. And you have to provide the linearization. What we want to do is rewrite as y equals mx plus b in the form of a straight line. And so you've got to find variables y equals what and x equals what that you can plot this and get a straight line. And the great value of this, one, one, one of the great things that's really nice about linearization is when you plot your data with the linearization of this equation, if it lines up on a straight line, this equation holds. It's a verification of the, of, the, of the functional form. And everyone can look at a straight line. You can hold up a ruler to the straight line and see that it's a straight line. You don't have to do some kind of nonlinear curve fit. You could do a nonlinear curve fit with Logger Pro to this, and that, that's something else. So first, the linearization gives us a straight line. If you pick the right y and the right x to get a straight line, and of course, b might be 0. But the other thing is, we want the slope to be such that the slope m is n to the index refraction of the glass. I'll tell you that since we're working with air and glass, the index of refraction of air is so terribly close to 1. It's 1.0000, 000, I forget how many zeros, and then it's not because it's air, not vacuum. But it's so close to vacuum that it's effectively one to the sig figs that we're going to deal with. And we want to know, that's another goal of the experiment, we want to measure what N2 is, what is the index of refraction. So if you do your linearization right, you not only get a straight line, but you can get the slope will give you the index of refraction, and the uncertainty of the slope will give you the uncertainty of your measurement. So that all comes out from, well, from Logger Pro gives you the uncertainty. And once we have the index of refraction of the glass, we have a hope of figuring out what kind of glass it is, because I'm not going to tell you what kind of glass it is. There are all various kinds of glasses, and different kinds of glass have different values for the index of refraction. So what you'll want to do is go and find out what what uh, kind of glass has an index refraction that is close to what we've measured.